Now, it's time to join Gino in Casa de Campo for another Sardinian adventure. This week, uh, he's taking us on a trip to the beach to cook one of his favourite dishes. When I'm not cooking up the flavours of Italy in this morning kitchen, you will always find me here on the beautiful island of Sardinia. So far, I've shared some of my favourite places on the islands with you. And today, it's time to hit the beach. From the north to the south, Sardinia is known for its crystal clear waters and white sandy beaches. And in my opinion, some of the most beautiful you'll find it in Italy. But before I head to the beach, I need to pick up something to cook. And I know just the place. There is one thing that I love, is to come to a fishmonger not knowing what I'm going to be cooking. I want to be inspired. Buongiorno. Oh, buongiorno, signor Gino. Tutto posto? Desidera. Eh. See, I love to come uh, to a fishmonger in Italy because, you know, you know, you just have a variety of fish. Look at this beautiful sea bass here. What you're looking when you get a, a fish is, the first thing is the eye. If the eye are not opaque, but they're beautiful and bright, you know that it's going to be nice and fresh. And of course, the shine of the scale. Look at that. The one that always I love is this one. It's called Scorfano. Now, to be honest with you, I have no idea what this is called in English. My mom used to cook that in a tomato sauce, or when you make a soup, very meaty, and the flavor just explodes into the pan. See, with the corner of my eye, I saw some beautiful mussels and clams. What I'm thinking, all right, is a huge pan, garlic, chili, extra virgin olive oil, fresh parsley, few cherry tomato, put everything in there, toss everything with a bit of white wine, and there, on the beach with bread, so I can do dunky dunky, it's gonna be fantastic. Sai che, prendiamo due di queste qua. Sì. Ok? E una di queste. I've got just what I need to cook up a feast. Now, it's time to head to the beach. I'm on Spiaggia Bianca, which is one of the sandy coves that lines this 10 kilometer stretch known as the Emerald Coast. It may be called Emerald Coast, but the water is crystal clear. I have to say there is nothing more satisfying than getting fresh seafood or fish from the fishmonger and cook it a couple of meters away from where the sea touches the sand. This is just awesome. My fire is on. I got a nice big pot here, which I'm going to put right on top just to heat it up. What I'm going to prepare is a sauté of mussels and clams. Un cozze e bongole all'acqua pazza, as we say uh, in Italy. Very simple. A good drizzle of olive oil. And this reminds me when I used to go camping with my mom and dad. My father, he was a useless cook, but whenever we need to cook clams and mussels, he was just the best. Garlic, just peel it, just chop it or slice it, however you want to do it. He's gonna put a few chili flakes. See, this is exactly what I want, sizzling the garlic and then straight in goes the clams and mussels. Mix everything together, all right? A little touch of salt, then parsley, then what you do, get some cherry tomatoes. You can use plum tomato, the big one, and just roughly chop it. I just cut those in half, that goes in there. It's gonna give a nice color, beautiful juice, and then a splash of white wine. Clams and mussels, what they need to open is steam. So the best way to do this now is to mix everything together. Look at those colors. Come on, look at that. The color of Italy. Put it there, just cover it with a lid, and cook until the mussels and clams open. Here it is, cooked to perfection. Look, one thing you need to make sure is that all the clams and all the mussels are completely open. If you can spot any clams or mussels that are not open, just throw them away. Let me try. Oh, okay, this is ready, so let me show you the way I like to eat. I got my bread. Right, I'm gonna put it there. Oh. I'm gonna put this here. So, there is only one way to do this. 
you pick the mussels, you eat them, you get your bread, dunk it dunk into the sauce, very important dunk it dunk in this sauce. Mm. You know what guys? I really wish all of you could be right here, right now with me to test this. This is just fantastic. Oh my gosh, I wish that, that too. That is my idea of absolute heaven. perfect heaven. Foot in the sea, eating things from the sea. Yeah. Ugh, dreamy. Thank you, Gino. <sighs> Normally, after a film like that, there's a little plate of something, isn't there? They couldn't be bothered today. I keep looking. To, I was looking towards the door. Yeah. I thought, I can't, no. I can't smell anything no, cooking. Nothing. And nothing. 